Let's hit it. Hit what? <laughs> I'm with Nathan Peter Haas and we're going to talk some cycling and maybe even some product. We just might. Because, just because we're feeling outrageous. And also we've been uh, introduced to a new product. So I'm going to rip into it just straight up from the gun. The Wahoo Element Bolt. I put one on my bike two weeks ago. I'm a more or less a computer Luddite when it comes to cycle computers. And it's blown my mind. Does it uh, influence you the same way? Yeah, I'm... I'm with you. I'm a. I call myself a ladite. A ladite. <laughs> I'm a lad, but terrible with anything tech. And you know, I've been using Garmin for years. Amazing product. They were the. They were the innovators of you know GPS bike computers. They you know founded a world tour team for years and years and years. But as they've kind of moved away from cycling a little bit, Wahoo's come in and just. I feel like they've kind of rewritten. The, the next phase of software when it comes down to it. They've taken out color from the screen because uh, they just don't believe that the screens are up to, to scratch yet in color. So it's all black and white, but don't be disheartened by that. The, the black and white nature of it actually makes a more crisp map, which is really cool. But when it, when it comes to uploading files and you know, as, as a professional cyclist now, we don't message our coach to tell <laughs> to tell them how our ride went. You know, we, we get messaged if we haven't uploaded the file, and and sometimes it's just a real pain to get a cable in and to do this or that or, or to connect it up with you know the Bluetooth here and there. But the the way in which Wahoo has their app, it's just unbelievable. It just I I had it into the, into the Athlete Village the other day, coming in from a training ride here at Two Down Under. And I went to upload my file and I looked and it was already done. Like everything's just automatic. The computers just, they just take out any human element now, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, the, the different things, like even, even how they've kind of used like a, a heat map sensor from where cyclists ride from, say, Strava. They've eliminated that issue of going on highway roads when you sort of press like go home on the map feature. And you're always using the roads that are actually specifically made or better and safer for cyclists. And that's not judged by any parameter other than the fact that cyclists always use a particular road and use that heat map from it. So it's, it's very user friendly. I think it makes cycling a little bit safer. They, uh, they've actually shaped the, the element to be more aerodynamic than anything else as well, which might not be a feature for, for many people. But when you think about a time trial and you use the mount and the Wahoo computer you know power meters are actually a, a quintessential part of time trialing now so to actually integrate the tool that we use to be more aero as well i think that's that's just sort of evidence that they're, they're really trying to take the next steps yeah i mean we're talking about it because katusha which is your new team is one of the uh, let's say brand ambassadors for for wahoo my 12 year old got one and he programmed a training uh uh, a one and a half hour training uh, routine into mm. it and he uses it on the kicker. Have you tried that kind of uh, approach with it? Not personally, but I've heard from everybody that has. It's actually just brilliant. You know, you can, you can set in all of your power parameters that you need to have and, and everything in the particular stages and the way that it's set, it's like, you know, it, it sets your training ride for you and you don't have to think anymore. You don't have to write something down on a piece of paper like, you know, I have for years on my top tube when I'm doing an ergo at home. And, and even now, you know, you can start to use it for things, practic practical things in racing. And that could be your, your warm up routine for a time trial. You don't have to think anymore. You just, you press time trial start routine and that's in your, in your Wahoo and it's good to go. So I think the, the whole kind of concept of this computer was sort of based around a guy who is a he's a businessman and he saw a gap in the market between tech and usability and and that's all he tried to do was just make something be much more user friendly than anything else and and I think that's the way that all tech is going I mean like you look at the way iPhones are you look how Apple sort of taken over in so many sort of practical senses, maybe not, you know, the high-end tech stuff when it comes to number crunching or programming, but when you use the, the Wahoo, it's just so user-friendly. And, you know, they've, they've taken away the touch screen 
which for me I was pretty concerned by. I thought that was maybe a bit of a regression in technology. But now you do actually everything on your mobile and then it links straight to the phone. And, and in a way, you know, you set up all your training pages in a much more creative way, like, you know, in your bed before you go to sleep or, you know, just in the car before you go on a, on a race day or whatever. And the way you can sort of upload your maps, ping it here, there and everywhere. It's, it's actually, it's just way more fun <laughs> than anything. You're not on this tiny little screen trying to move things. Yeah. It's on a big screen where you can see everything. There's... I don't, I, I don't want to guess the number, but it's, it's somewhere in the, you know, there's a million different ways you can actually have your pages based on all of the different little numbers here and there. And, and, and there's even a few things in it that challenge you to ride harder than ever before. There's, there's this one little thing, it's like on, next to your power, your current power, it says your current power versus average. And there's just a little arrow that goes up or down. And if it's up, it means that you're riding above the average that you've done for the day and below is the other way. So it's one of those things that also just gets you to kind of gets into your basic psychology. Say, I don't want to go slower than I've been going. So it keeps you going pretty hard. Okay. We talk about it because it's interesting and, and it's new to us. And also because uh, I raise it with you because you've more or less proudly stated that you're not really good at a lot of tech in the past. No, I mean, it's, it's not something to be proud of. <laughs> it's not something to be proud of, but... You know, the, the honest thing is I still like to ride by feel. I still like to ride because I love riding and I love the feeling of riding and I don't want to be one of these computer dogs. But when you have something that is given to you that just makes your job so much easier and then integrating that science into your training that is important, you have to overlay the power onto kind of feeling and all of this stuff. That for me, it's been probably the easiest way to do that. And, and it's also an easier way to kind of get home as well with the map. Okay, moving right along. Next topic. Given that you're about to start the world tour on your road bike for 2018, let's talk about downhill mountain biking. Yeah. 